Hello and welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Sushma Reddy. In this video we will see how to pass a mapping variable or parameter from Power Center to B2B data transformation project. As you all know how to integrate Power Center with B2B transformation, let's directly go to the demo where we see how to integrate the DT project with Power Center and pass the mapping variable. I already have a project being open. What I do is create a variable, provide the name as demo var, select the type as variable, expand it. You can provide any data type as per your requirement. I would go ahead and create it as integer and provide some initial value as 1 1. Here if we do not pass any value for pa for parameter or a variable which is created in power center at the runtime, power center considers the value being provided in the DT transformation. So once we create the variable we need to validate and deploy the project such that it can be used in power center. So go to the project menu, validate and deploy. So here this is the service name. If you already have a project deployed and you and in this scenario you, you need to redeploy because you can get the current changes made in the project. This is the service DB name and this is the location where the project is deployed. I click on deploy. Because I already have a project with this, it will ask me whether it want to override or it wants me to create a new project. I would say override and the pro service is deployed successfully. Coming back to the power center, I shall create a mapping variable and import the DT project using the unstructured data transformation. Here I already have created a mapping variable test underscore var with an initial value 120. Now what I do is I'll go ahead and import the DT project using unstructured data transformation. Select the service name and OK. You can see here by default you'll have only two buffers that is input and output buffer. Now we need to an extra port to pass the variable which we created in the DT project. So for that to add the addition port go to UT, UDT ports say populate from the service here you can see a list of ports few are already predefined that is system defined and the one which is defined by you so you go ahead and select the one you have created say populate and click OK you can see the port, the uh, variable buffer has been added here in the UDT transformation. Now go to the expression transformation, ports, add a new port, I would say as variable. and connect it. So this is how you will be assigning a mapping variable to the corresponding input port in the UDT transformation. So when you run the session the value in the mapping variable will be passed to the variable defined in the B2B project. 
This is a reference KB article which again provides you the same steps like how to pass the parameter mapping parameter or variable to the DT project. We would love to hear from you so you can provide your feedbacks at support videos at informatica.com or tweet us at twitter.com info support and also provide your comments valuable comments in YouTube user informatica support thank you